Scan tools are now a must for fixing modern day cars. However, having owned various scan tool brands and worked extensively with several scanners over the years, here are common scan tool myths that people often fall for. And wait until you hear number four. I'm sure it's something we can all relate with. We're going to be busting all these today so that we can stay informed and get the best out of our scan tool choices. Now let's get this. First myth, the more expensive the scanner, the better. While there tends to be a correlation between the cost of a tool and the availability of functions, this isn't always the case. The explosion in the third party scan tool manufacturer space has just blown a very large hole through this myth. Functions that used to be exclusive to scan tools that cost thousands of dollars are now available in very affordable scanners. You can now get all system scanning, bi-directional testing, ECU coding, and a myriad of service functions for around $300. Myth number two, high-end scanners diagnose everything for you. This simply isn't true. The fact is that the person using the scanner is still the critical link and that's why learning and understanding automotive diagnostics and systems is what really brings out the best out of using a scan tool. For example, reading and interpreting fuel trim data is such an important foundational skill that can help solve a lot of car problems and reading fuel trim data is something that is available on scan tools that cost less than $50. I'll also say that over 90% of the commonest diagnostic trouble codes facing car owners are largely going to be generic, meaning that your common Bluetooth dongle scanner should be able to get the job done if the right expertise is in place. Our third myth is what is the best scan tool and I call it a myth because the best scan tool only exists in utopia. There's no one scanner does it all and the best scanner for a BMW may not offer the same value on a Kia or on a Hyundai. I've personally seen things that X2 does better on some cars, while on some other functions, Autel is the better choice to go with and it's common to find shops have a mix of different scan tool brands so that they get the best of both worlds. The more important question to ask is what's the right scanner for my application and that application is going to be a function of your skill level, budget, the cars you frequently work on and the must have functions or features in a scan tool. The fourth myth is that the code is the problem. Diagnostic trouble codes are only a guide to further narrow down your troubleshooting and testing. For example, a P0301 or misfire on cylinder 1 could be caused by a number of things, with the simple ones being a worn-out spark plug or a defective ignition coil. It can also be caused by more advanced stuff like a burnt exhaust valve and the list goes on. I once saw an invoice from a shop that had a quote per code and I think my friend had over 7 DTCs on that report. But this is the kind of shop that will end up throwing parts at codes. I simply advise my friend to find another shop. Usually when you have multiple codes, there's a high chance that some of them are going to be parallel codes and the first thing you usually want to do is to clear all the codes and then start troubleshooting from the one that reappears first. And so bringing it all together, summary is that your scanner is only a tool and a very important one at that, but it's the acquisition of learning and automotive know-how that brings the best out of any scan tool that you may choose. Also, you don't need to wait until you can afford that big scan tool. There's a lot that you can do with basic scanners if you have the right knowledge and that's what you can afford. I'll leave some links down below just in case you're in the market for a scan tool and want to check them out. Hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.